2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And a look behind the curtain here. Final preparations for the challenge ahead. Hoping to come out of the gates strong. And that's Coit Tower, perched high atop Telegraph Hill here in San Francisco. We're just about set for action. Welcome to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. And tonight, we'll see the Golden State Warriors. They'll go up against the Utah Jam. And our broadcast team tonight, Greg Anthony here to my left and Steve Smith to my right. And the Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, along the sideline. Hey, Dave. Kevin, thank you very much. We know Rudy Gobert is ultra competitive, but he knows it's not about winning his individual matchup. He said, it's a five-on-five five game, a team concept. That's always been my mindset. Obviously, I take pride in being the best defensive player in this league, but I play to win. That's my focus. Kevin? Thanks, David. That's David Aldridge, our NBA Hall of Famer. And a couple of injuries among their reserves. I expect their starters guys will be ready to do whatever's needed. Two injuries, one of their stars out, but it's all about how you respond to the adversity. The starters for the Utah Jazz, Mitchell and Bogdanovich, they're the wings. O'Neal is out there with Rudy Gobert, and it's Conley in at the point guard. And for Golden State, Green down low with Looney. Wiggins is out there with Curry, and it's Oubre in at the three spot. Plenty of experience, Greg, on the floor tonight. How does that shape what we're about to see, do you think? You know, Kevin, this is one of those games where guys are going to be smart out on the floor. They're going to be in the right positions to make plays. And honestly, this could come down to who makes the bigger, tougher shots. Now here's Conley. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. You know what? Mike Conley is so crafty. Finding a way to take the bump and weave through the defense. And so Curry will bring it up for the Warriors. Outside, Green. There's the pass to Looney. Green taking his time here. He can't get it to go. O'Neal with the defensive effort. On the wing, Mitchell. For the three. Good on the triple. Even though Mitchell isn't all that efficient from range, the most impressive thing to me is he believes the shot is going in. Tim, there's a lot of talk about Gobert's rim protection, but his rebounding is every bit as important on the defensive end. Yeah, that's finishing off defense. Once you force them to miss, you don't want to allow second chance opportunities. Rudy Gobert averaged over 10 defensive boards a game last year. That was the best numbers of his career and top three in the league. Well, this gives you some confidence when you drop three straight to start the game. Curry passes to Oubre. Curry against Conley. With the fadeaway. And that one's good, Wiggins. Unselfish play right there. Curry with the patience to wait for someone to break free. Now here is Conley. Up top, Gobert. Dishes it to Mitchell. O'Neal high post. Lock at six. And here's Bogdanovich for three. Andrew Wiggins pulls it in. The Warriors have gone two or three here to start out the game. Curry attacking. Oubre for three. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. And it's a tie ball game. And the slick pass by Curry. They're fun to watch the way the ball moves. Conley kicks to Mitchell. Good on the bucket. Mitchell's got his second bucket of the night. Just look at the way Mitchell's built. The strength in the upper body. 
Green passes to Looney. Back to Green. Wiggins surveying the floor. Let's it fly. Curry can't get it to go. And that's okay. Even though you miss, you had the right guy taking the shot. O'Neal kicks to Conley. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. He dishes it to Mitchell. Takes a three. It's rebounded by Golden State. Curry with it. Outside, Green. Pulls up. Curry's shot is off. And it's Mitchell with the ball for Utah. Out to the wing. Conley kicks to O'Neal. Conley against Green to the paint and Gobert with the basket on the assist by Mitchell such a valuable playmaker for this team Mitchell can get his own and get others involved as well Curry against Conley three-pointer Curry with another miss and a funk this quarter he's trying to shoot his way out of it Mitchell is double Gobert, the pass to Bogdanovich. No good from outside. There was a mix-up defensively. Left him all alone. He just couldn't hit it. Curry with a wide-open look. Hits the three-point bomb. Curry's got five points so far. Range that extends out to the parking lot. How do you guard that? A chance at a two-for-one if they want it. If I'm them, I try it. Mitchell passes to Gobert. Mitchell outside. And it's Bogdanovich in the corner. Just five on the clock. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. The Warriors have gone 50% from the field to this point, four of eight. Conley against Curry. Good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Jazz lead by one. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. And always interesting to hear from Donovan Mitchell, who recently spoke about the team's progress. Everybody had their expectations of what we should be or will be, but at the end of the day, you know, we got to be able to focus on us, you know. Uh, obviously, we went through a little bit of a rough patch, you know, we're still figuring things out, but we can make adjustments and continue to build. And I think we're playing great basketball. I think we're doing things the right way. And you know, Greg, Mitchell's going to be right in the middle of it, leading the way. And on top of everything else he does, he's a lead at getting his own shot. We've seen him carry this team offensively at times. Boy, he is special. And some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far. And the guys, what's your take on Utah so far? Boy, th their offense looks really good when everyone's in sync. Terrific first quarter. This is exactly what you want to see if you're a coach. Your team starting fast and playing with confidence. They've got Andrew Wiggins. Wiseman's out there with Draymond Green. Then there's Stephen Curry. And it's Poole in at the two. That's the group for the Golden State Warriors to start the second quarter. And Smitty, anytime there's a poll for dirtiest player in the NBA, Draymond seems to end up on that list. GA, in our day, there would have been a lot of us on that list. We know Draymond just wants to win, but it's about just playing hard, and that's what he'll do. He'll do whatever it takes to win. In this league, they're just trying to clean up some of these acts. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. 
Bojan Bogdanovic was a pro in Europe for a decade before he joined the NBA. And the Croatian sharpshooter says, a lot of players who are happy over there, but I wanted to have another challenge, to play against the best in the world. That was the only thing that was important to me. Guys, he's lived up to that promise. He loves that challenge and he's having success. DA, thank you. The defense a step slow and you can see the results. Clarkson against Curry. Here's the floater. Got a hand on it. Here's Poole. No points in the game yet for him. Here's Wiseman. And finished off by Wiseman. That's why you never quit battling on the offensive glass. And that's a nice reward for his effort. Uh, the flush, perfect. Working hard, beating everyone to the ball. He does this night in and night out. So it's Utah now, following the score by Golden State. Count that one. This is why you're trying to get him as many touches as possible. He's got the deck. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Green breaking loose and Poole gets it to go. Poole's got the lead up to three now for the Warriors. Out of their last five makes, how about all five from long range? Clarkson passes to Mitchell. Now here's Ingles. Well, the superstar players always get the headlines, but you need more great role players, it seems, as you look at the history of champions, to win. Uh, so that being said, Greg, what kind of role players do you look for? You know, Kevin, it starts on your best player, and I think you go from there. Obviously, in today's game, spot-up shooting is critically important. And then you got to factor in versatility. You need guys that can guard multiple positions, uh, that give you some rim protection, but obviously that can also shoot the basketball. And you, you, I think it's critical having that instant offense guy coming off the bench as well to when your team's in a bit of a funk, somebody you can trust to kind of light a fire. Good point. Curry can't get it to go. The Jazz have gone four of six from the field here in the second. Wiggins against Ingles. And trying for the go-ahead basket, it doesn't go in. And here's Curry who brings it up for the Warriors. And it's Wiggins with the jam. Taking it to the D. When Wiggins is forcing the issue, he shows why he went first overall. Timeout is called first of the game for the Jams. Well, it's a player's lead, but certainly coaching has its place. Yeah, if that weren't the case, you wouldn't see so many coaching changes in the offseason. Both teams deciding to change it up. Jazz trail by three. High post favors. Pass to Clarkson. It's tipped. 58 seconds left in the first half of the game. On its way from Curry for two. Pascal. And out of bounds as Utah gains possession. Yeah, and I think he was surprised to see that pass coming his way and just really reacted too late. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. And guys, that's about as good a defensive play as you'll see. Instant reaction to get a hand to the shot. The kick out to Ilyasova. Ingles against Oubre. Puts up a three. Wiggins with the rebound. Warriors leading by three. And Derek Favors picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Derek Favors. First personal foul, team's first. No. 30 seconds left now here in the second. A three-pointer, Wiggins, and a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got five assists tonight. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Curry against Conley. Oh, 
clock at four. Clarkson on the wing. Baseline jumper, and they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Curry way outside, and that one released in time, but no good. And so it's the Golden State Warriors with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. They've played the better game so far, but their work is far from over. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Joined here with Quinn Snyder. Coach, your team has faced a lot of firepower from outside. How do you keep them from getting those three-pointers off? Well, one, they're making them. Uh, hopefully we can get them where they're not open and they're contested and see if they're making that many of them then. But uh, they're getting them a variety of ways. We just got to be better. Play outside in defense, right? Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. Golden State found themselves in a close game in the first. Some good action during the period, as it was just a one-point game at the end of one. They flipped a switch in the second quarter. It was a much better performance than in the first quarter, and their lead is now six. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what'd you think? Well, the three-point shooting was the key thus far. When you're knocking down those shots from the perimeter, it really spreads the floor. You demand respect from the defense. We'll see if they can keep it flowing in the second half. Shaq, what's your take on Utah so far? They've gotten a lot from their interior offense, and it's been a spark for them. And having that edge in the paint can make the difference tonight. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. Curry has been sensational. There's something that isn't his strength, but he's done a great job of finding the open man. Yeah, in the first half, he took on the role of playmaker. I think it surprised the defense a little bit. Gave this offense a different dimension. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. Our second half of basketball and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. And so in the game for the Jazz. Conley runs the point with Mitchell flanking him. Bogdanovich out there with O'Neal. And it's Gobert in its center. And looking at Curry's stats, one thing that jumps out, and, and it may be a little surprising, for the last three seasons, he's averaged over five rebounds a game. O'Neal misses. Warriors leading by nine. And here is Curry. He's got 14. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. And those rebounding numbers, G.A., just speak to Curry's overall impact. And when you look at Steph's size and the amount of time he spends on the perimeter, there's no way he should be cleaning the glass like that. But you can't teach heart and you can't teach instinct, and he has both. I mean, not only does Bogdanovich stretch the floor, but he can really stretch it from beyond 30 feet. Greg, he is blessed with incredible range and a quick trigger, might I add. You have to stay connected to Bogdanovich defensively because he can go on scoring tears where there's just no stopping him. And so Bogdanovich nails both of them. Greg, we hear this a lot. It's almost too popular now to say good offense beats good defense. Being a defensive-minded player yourself, do you agree with that statement? Absolutely, Kevin. And, and the thing is, in today's game, when I play, there was an era, you know, you could hold teams in the 80s and 90s. 
Uh, you could go a quarter and keep them at 12, 15 points. You can't do that now. It's different. You've got to be able to, to win stretches of two and three minutes. Uh, and, and honestly, you're right. It, the offense does dictate far more. Uh, but it doesn't discount the importance of defense. And it, if you still look at the the reigning champs and the teams that have won titles recently, that's still one area that they're consistent in is their defensive approach. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Kevin, thanks. For the Utah Jazz last season, there was a lot of fallout from the COVID crisis. But Rudy Gobert was able to patch up things with his teammates and specifically guard Donovan Mitchell after Gobert realized his mistake. For a team with so much maturity and potential to win, it was good to see them finally be able to turn the page. Guys? Good to see things back on track. Thanks, David. Stolen by O'Neal. And it's Bogdanovich in the corner. Hands the shot from the wing. Bogdanovich has got four points now in the quarter. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. And the Warriors with some changes. Poole's checked in. And it's Mannion in for Steph Curry. Warriors leading by four. Here's Poole. But Trey drills it from outside. Poole's got six points. Yeah, those are starting to add up, guys. Up their last five baskets, three have been tripled. Now Conley. The rebound by Mannion. The Warriors have gone three or four so far in the third quarter from the field. Pretty good start to the half. And that one's good. Green. Yeah, good recognition there. Draymond exploits the heart of that defense. Now here is Conley. He's covered closely. Uses the glass to finish the layup. He's got six. No doubt about it. He has done a ton to help his team. But he's going to have to do even more if they want to have a chance to get back in this one. Now, here's Oubre. Pass to Mannion. Off target from three-point range. And so it's Bogdanovich who brings up the ball for the Jams. Conley kicks to Mitchell. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. And a missed layup. Oubre against O'Neal. Here's Poole. Offline with his three. Having a shaky time from the floor, but his teammates have been picking up the slack. There's 138 left in the third quarter of the game. Over to the left wing. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Jazz trail by seven. Conley left side. And it's Looney with the rebound. And such a great all-around player for over a decade now. Conley is one of the class acts in our league. He is, GA, one of the best floor leaders we have. He's completely unselfish. Also, three-time NBA Sportsmanship Award winner. And in 2019, was named NBA Teammate of the Year. Donovan Mitchell, he covers every base, even showing the touch from mid-range. Now here's Mannion. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Gobert the pass to Comp. Shoots from 12. And Looney sends it back. The tenacity of Looney there. Swatting the shot back and showing off his defensive chops. Here's Mannion. And again, no good by Golden State. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. O'Neal with it. Now Green defending. They double team Conley. And it's Bogdanovich in the corner. No good on the triple. And here is Mannion. And he gets it to go. 
given the size disadvantage, you have to have a lot of confidence to take that shot. And also a lot of skill. This is exactly the type of thing you practice for over and over again. And so it's the Golden State Warriors bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. Looking good at this point, but wanting more. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And, you know, you can always count on him for at least a couple of these pretty assists over the course of a game. And this one, a thing of beauty. You see why they trust him with the ball in his hands. He can make the simple play, and he can pull off the spectacular. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. Jazz trail by seven. You've got Wiseman. Eric Pascoe out there with Kent Bazemore. Then it's Andrew Wiggins, and it's Curry in at the one spot. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Kept alive, Ingles. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Undrafted coming into the league, Joe Ingles has not only found a way to stick, he's become a major contributor. And last season, at least at first, it was a challenge for Ingles to mesh with Mike Conley. Yeah, I mean, Conley came in to run the offense, which kind of took the ball out of Ingles' hands a little bit. Oh, but then Conley goes out take with a the hamstring, and Two that allowed Ingles to get back into rhythm, and he's been able to handle that load many times for this group. First free throw is good. Both shots good from the stripe. Warriors leading by five. Curry looking it over. Passes to Pascal. Here's the three. And that's good. Steph Curry for three. What can you say? If he start hitting it from that range, there's nothing you can do. Conley with it. And the foul on Andrew Wiggins. And that'll be his third foul so far. And so it's Utah here with the ball. Here's Conley. And oh, that was close. He draws the foul. He'll shoot two. Mike Conley is very crafty. He can bait a defender into getting a little too physical with him. At the line of the Jets, Mike Conley. At the line for two. The first one falls. What I appreciate about Conley, the assist to turnover ratio for his career has been outstanding. And Conley drops them both. And they came out of the locker room after halftime with a much more physical approach than what we saw in that first half. Curry against Conley. Bazemore, no one around him. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Bazemore's got the lead up to nine now for the Warriors. And so it's Conley bringing up the ball for the Jazz. The pass to Ilya Sova. Clarkson against Pascal. Now here is Conley. Defense is right there. Just five to shoot. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. 
After a lackluster first half, he's taken charge offensively. We'll see how the defense responds. The shot by Curry, no good. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Liasova finds Ingles. Launches a three. And Curry pulls it down. The struggle is real. He's been way off with his shot all evening long. Weissman the pass to Pascal. And stolen by Favors. Pass to Clarkson. Curry against Conley. Six to shoot. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Wiggins drives in. And Wiggins throws it down. And with that height and incredible leaping ability, Wiggins can throw it down as easy as anyone. Conley scanning the floor. Here's Favors. And it's good, two points. Hustle points count just like any others. That's a great play. Warriors leading by six. Curry passes to Wiseman. He's looking for Wiggins and finds him. Curry on the wing. That ball's ice feed time that out, time, time from Wiggins. Curry's got nine points Start now in just the second half. Utah calls timeout. One guy who's been getting it done so far, Stephen Curry. Yeah, they're going to have to find a way to run him off his spots out there. He is rolling. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Steph Curry. Plain and simple, his scoring is what made him our pick tonight. Even when the D's given him all their attention, they just have not been able to contain him. If they backed off him for one second, he made them pay. He sure has given this crowd a treat tonight. This kind of performance only cements his status as a fan favorite. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, during the last break, I heard Quinn Snyder talking with his team. He is upset about the perimeter play. He told the guys on the defensive end, stay connected to the shooters. On the offensive end, if you don't have an open shot, pass it around. We'll see if the ball starts to unstick, Kevin. Thanks so much, David. At the line of the Jets, Rudy Gobert. Two shots. First free throw is good, and that brings them within eight. He's a great defender. He's improved his scoring. Rudy Gobert has put a lot of work into his body and game. And Gobert drops them both. Here's Curry. We've got 148 left in the game. Fires for three. The shot misses. Now the Jazz take it the other way. To the inside. It's tipped and stolen by Wiggins. From deep three-point range. And that's good. Steph Curry for three. Curry's got nine points now in the quarter. Jazz trail by 10. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Here's Conley. Raymond Green with the rebound. Green's got five rebounds tonight. Guys, I think this is a game they have to feel good about as we wind through the final moments here in what looks to be a solid win for the Warriors. Great, generous ball movement tonight. A thing of beauty. Yeah, a remarkable team effort. They got everyone involved. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Steph Curry. You love to see this kind of leadership. Directing traffic, keeping everyone happy. He was the straw that stirred the drink. Conley inside the line. It's good on the putback. See, this is where the better conditioning comes in. Rudy Gobert able to stay active. 
30 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Conley against Curry. In the corner, it's Wiggins. Misses the three. It's just too big a deficit to come back from at this point. And you know, disappointment starts to set in a little bit. You fought all night, just wasn't meant to be. Now Curry. So we see the Warriors get the win here. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the, the first step in becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And, and this is what they came out to do. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long and good night, everyone.